You know, everyone has influence of some kind or another. The question is, how will you use that influence? Hmm. Well, Liberty Benton's Aaron Kraft, the Ohio State grad, returned to the area recently to exhibit his level of influence. Kraft helped lead Santa Cruz to a game one victory, or game one victory in the NBA D League Finals at Fort Wayne. And then he went on to win the league title a couple of nights later in California. Well, plenty of Kraft's family and friends made the short trip west to Indiana, and he did not disappoint on the court during the game or afterwards off the court in an autograph session. As Kraft continues to grow as a player, a person, and a Christian, Mark has more in today's OAO Faith on the Field segment. The life of a professional athlete, particularly those in the minor leagues, is far from glamorous. But Aaron Kraft is pleased with how his rookie season in the NBA's developmental league has gone. I mean, it's a grind, uh, and that's, it's, I think the biggest thing comes from, you know, I came from Ohio State, so they spoil us like crazy there, and, um, but at the end of the day, we still get to play basketball, and um, whatever excuses or, or problems we think we may have, we still have it great. Personally, you know, we're in Santa Cruz, California, where it's sunny all year round. I have no complaints. It's been a great time. Yeah, you know, I think it's just being a professional. Obviously, this is the most games I've ever played in this, in the, this amount of time in this stretch, so... Um, that's an adjustment. Um, the different rules, the different spacing, the, obviously the longer three-point line. Um, and it's just been a continued growing process for me, and I have no complaints. You know, I've, I feel like I've improved this year, and I think it shows on the foot. And Kraft admits the grind has gotten to him, and it is faith that has sustained him. It's grown. It's, it's, it's amazing how much it's grown. Um, early on in the season, you know, mid-January, it was struggling. Uh, and struggling with a lot of things that, you know, you don't really think you have to, you don't have you're very blind to those things in yourself. So for me, it was really eye-open to see these, these character traits and these, these problems that I didn't think I had, but I definitely did. So um, it's been an eye-opening and growing process and still haven't made it, but uh, very thankful for this, for this opportunity that, that's helped me become a better person. The year in Santa Cruz has allowed a little bit of an extended honeymoon for Kraft and his high school sweetheart, the former Amanda Peterson, who got married last August. It's, it's great. Uh, the biggest challenge right now, obviously, we're, we're, you know, we're in California, we're away from everyone we know, and that's even been a blessing in disguise. It's, it's really kind of helped us to hone in on just us two and, and really establishing us as, as a family. So that, it's been fantastic, and we've loved every second of it. Liberty Benton's Pound Squad certainly represented in Fort Wayne for Game 1 of the NBA D-League Series, but seeing Buckeye Nation throughout the NBA's D-League is nothing new. Uh, it's, it's amazing, uh, and it's very easy to take for granted. Uh, and, Throughout the D-League, you play in a bunch of smaller cities that you wouldn't really expect to see people, but there are Ohio State fans at every game that we've played at on the road in Santa Cruz, and that's something that, that I really appreciate. Uh, and obviously, Buckeye Nation is, is unbelievable, and to be able to continue to represent them is something I'll never take for granted. I, I, I can't say enough about the kid. I could sit here and talk to you about, about Aaron Kraft for three hours. Um, it's been an absolute honor to coach him, and uh, it's been a lot of fun to be able to have at least a small thumbprint on what's going to be a long career for him. 